guys, welcome to Rotorat, and this is First Flight to Freestyle. We're doing something a little bit different today. We're gonna be putting the DJI FPV drone through a race course. Now, I don't actually know a whole lot about racing. I really just focus on freestyle. So we brought in another guest instructor who knows a little bit more about doing race lines. Hi, I'm Mako Reactra. I'm a professional drone racer. I race in multi-GP as well as Drone Championship League, which is a global drone racing league. I'm on the American team and we're called Quad Force One. We're really lucky to have her here today so she can give Eric some racing tips. You've been doing great in the series so far though. I've been having a lot of fun. Honestly, chasing drift cars is my favorite thing so far. That uh -huh. was a hoot. But this challenge today, I'm so glad she's here because I know next to nothing about any sort of quad racing. Now we've hosted quad races here at the Chalet in the past. I enjoyed watching them crash and flip and burn and literally <laughs> fires, like that's really cool. And I expect uh, to do at least that today. So guys, the whole reason that we're doing a racing episode in this freestyle series is because I think getting some racing fundamentals down is an amazing set of skills that really feeds into having good freestyle lines and good cinematic lines. So, so far in the series, we taught Eric some moves where he could do them wherever he wanted, whenever he wanted. He could do a flip, he could do a split us kind of on his own time and really learn to, to fly this drone very dynamically. But the thing with getting through a race course is you have to do a set list of moves in a set order and you kind of want to do it with, with some speed. Now we're not really going to be pushing for lap times, but what I'm getting at is today is all You're about- You're going down. Today. You're going down. <laughs> all right, you want to throw down. <laughs> today is going to be all about consistency, uh, having you do the same moves, learning to pick a line, uh, practice that line, stick to that line, and also forcing you to be real low to the ground. These are not tall gates here. I'm excited uh, to try this out and see if I can, uh, can have some fun. Yeah, we got a great course here today put together by our very own Sean Morrison. So let's take a look at what we're gonna be flying through. So this is our start platform, this nice piece of concrete right here. Should be easy to start off on. There's your first gate, and then we're gonna turn and go straight that way into that gate right there. For the center gate, okay, yeah. for the front of that. The first gate you're lined up with. Once you get up to that point, you can corkscrew, is what they would call it, into this gate. But if you're not familiar, if you're not comfortable with corkscrewing, you could just come through this gate, go up, turn right, and then turn left and go through this gate. So you don't necessarily have to do it as a corkscrew, but that's the objective All to right. get the most speed. Drop in, drop through, add power. As it's kind of like through. a power yeah. loop, but, yeah. but you're turning but at the same time. It's a sideways time. power loop. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right. But you don't have to do it that way, and most people don't at first. Like even when I flew it, the first time I flew it, I didn't do it as a corkscrew. It took me a couple tries to get in the habit of doing it, yeah. and then once you get the habit of it, it just makes the course go faster if you can do it in that speed. Well, with that said, though, all the people in the comments, first off, love you guys. Uh, they like it when I crash, so we're going to try corkscrew. There you go. <laughs> we're going to corkscrew again into the third gate, which okay, is so going to line you up. It's going to line you up to that gate right there. Straight, and then left, 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 now, left, left. Yeah, then you just keep going left until you're done. Okay. Over here, the start gate. And what you've been telling me off camera, Mako, is just basically consistency is key. Try to keep it smooth. Don't land it like that. <laughs> um, yeah, smooth is fast, especially your first rounds. You wanna, or your practice rounds, you wanna take it easy, learn the course. The corkscrew is a really fun element. Or not. <laughs> so start back maybe at the beginning of the corkscrew. Yeah, and stay to like the right side if you can. There you go. And then over. Yep. Oh. oh! It was back up. Whoa, right back up. Oh, yeah, right. Nice. <laughs> no turtling. Necessary. I gotta use a little more power than I think I need to. Yeah, more throttle. Um, and it's a little. Oh, there you go. Up over. Hey. Over. I think you're trying to do it like somebody who's done it a lot already, so you can just. But it's that movement though, right? It's like, yeah. it's this movement here. So in, You up. know the movement, so yeah. So that's that's almost a split S, right? I think you're really just going a little too hard, man. Maybe, maybe you could demonstrate like a safe yeah, line, you know, because. I think demonstrating it would be helpful. Just take everything way wider, way uh, way more conservatively. Yeah, it's kind of like, okay, now you're turning around, go over and then turn around again. There you go, see? Yeah, I like She's that. She's nice and conservative. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's a conservative. You <laughs> are a racer. You are crashing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even a hard crash. You're all right. And the corkscrew is not a beginner element. It's definitely a more intermediate, advanced element. Evan Turner once said, don't think of a gate as a gate. Think of it as a flag. I think he said this recently. So you're only really trying to get around that one side of the gate. So just think of that side as the flag. Don't look at the whole gate. Gotcha. So instead of trying to go through the gate and hit the center and be perfectly smooth, come up to the you're side, try to get around it like a flag. I, I can get behind that. All right. After all the flying I've done, all the big stuff, like having a gate the size of Texas, now pushing it into something where I have to be close to the ground and I'm trying to maneuver between different points of gates, this, I can see why this would make you a good pilot so much faster. Right. Like everything we've done in this series, I've been telling you guys, like having Drew or Bobby in my ear, kind of just saying, hey, this is how you do it and go do it now or else has been huge. Now taking those experiences and layering it with you into the, okay, put it through the paces. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna ask you to please fly a line for me. Absolutely. <laughs> and then I'll follow along and try to get a better idea of how you're using power because I feel like I'm just saving myself. That's all I'm doing. Maybe so, flying at a higher camera angle would help you. I mean, you're flying at a really low yeah, camera Yeah, so he's flying at like 20 degrees. What and are you gonna set yours racers to? Racers typically 50. fly 45 to 50, okay. So you can turn around and just turn. Uh, ready? Over and just turn. See how I'm doing that? Yeah, see, I was trying it not doesn't... to do that because I didn't want to have the prop wash and the, the fact that the, t the quad's moving backwards. I felt like trying to get a tighter line was more important. Like, you can see now so why you're you doing can just it. Turn. Well, and the better you get, exactly turn. what you want to do is what you'll want to work your way up to. But And you could do something like that. Did you see what I did on that last one? Yeah. I went around it. So, Mega, why don't you just do a bunch of rounds on the corkscrew? So you can go because that like seems this. to be the most challenging one. And start with the really conservative line, and slowly work your way to okay. the aggressive line. So you can see, so you can see how you, how so you, you would. So you can go uh, over it and then turn. I come back at the beginning. So I'm just using some roll here to. So there is a little ramp. See, it's a little bit tighter, but still, I'd say pretty conservative for her. And see, I was trying to make it flowier, more freestyle. -ish. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what you want eventually. Like, see, you're gonna. <laughs> oh yeah, this is getting good. All right, do your best one. Do your best one. Well, it's hard to drown. I'm not used to flying, but. I mean, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was just all. It seemed like it was almost all one movement. Yeah. And that's what you want, right? Yep. You pretty much hold Look at that, that oh, yaw that. and roll <laughs> and go Just for disgusting. It. <laughs> it's so interesting because everything Drew's taught me so far is like avoid the sound of the props going through the prop wash. Try to keep it smooth. Yeah. And this is like, nope, just jam through it. Yeah, racers, well, you care about your tune to an extent, but you'll you know, you let things go a little bit more because it's you're not really that the footage isn't important to you as much. You know, it's just a mindset. You know, you start uh, being more focused on being consistent and learning how to be able to do the line over and over again, and then going back and trying to be smooth and stay out of the prop wash. You see how I'm kind of looking at the right? The right side is my flag. I'm really just trying to get around that right side of that gate. Right. <laughs> This higher uh, prop or camera angle is so much different. Yeah, I think maybe upping it would help. Upping yours. I think I'm gonna try the 45. Look at that. Oh, oh. No. Low battery. Low battery. Low battery. But did the ones in the beginning make sense? Did you it see does. the difference? So you're, I, I was trying to basically take it up and almost like split us over the top and keep it flowy. Yeah. And with the camera angle I was at, I think that 
You just, I don't think it's can't. possible, yeah. So I think what I need to do is take it and think of it more as a rotational versus a loop. Because I was basically trying to power loop up, let it drop down and just fly through it beautifully. That doesn't work. So different strokes, different goals, different plans. We'll try this out, see how it goes. That power more. There you go. Don't, there you go. Yeah. All right, so do you, should so I actually? If you turn a little sooner and even slow down because a lot, a common error is kind of going too fast and then you'll overshoot a gate. So even just slowing down. Let me turtle mode it. Whoa. Wow. That's so cool. It works so well. <laughs> That's really cool. Mine, you know, sometimes it'll flip twice. <laughs> nice. Now turn. Over. Have you thought about turning right instead of left? After you go over it go back through it. See if that helps a little bit. Uh, so go through. And then turn left if you're gonna go this direction. Ooh, that was a hard hit. Yeah, that one that's might broken be now. That one broke it. Look at what you did. Well, at least we have easy access to the SD card. <laughs> so the and SD. the battery's good. So we got the SD card, we got the battery. All right. Let's get another drone. I would say just the goal for today is just like practice consistency. And if you could at one point do one lap without a stutter or whatever, yeah. that's what I'd call your victory. Yeah. Being able to do yeah. one lap of the, because because we pre-planned, and that's what's gonna happen. I mean, this is how it feeds back into like what we've been learning. Like, if you're gonna do a shot for a director, the director is gonna tell you, you need to fly here, then here, then here. It's not your choice. So it's very similar. This course was set for you. You didn't get to choose it. And I had nothing goal, to do with it. <laughs> your goal is to make it through this course in one, clean lap. Doesn't have to be the fastest lap, it has Just to be a clean to lap. Crash. Yeah. Turn. Over. Turn. Try turning right. No, oh, yeah, that's, I think you're better with left. <laughs> left. Yeah, yeah, you want to hit this one. Left. Don't say hit. <laughs> Poor choice of words. Don't say hit. What are you doing? And then this is a nice curve. Great. Nice. Nice save. Real low, yep. but still seemed Smoother. in control. Try to turn a little bit earlier. Turn. There you go. Yeah, you didn't overshoot that one as much. You can kind of do something ah. called pre-turning and um, almost turn when you're before the gate or even inside of it maybe would be good. Now we're making laps. Beautiful turn, that yeah. was beautiful, Eric. There you go. And you're flying this differently. You're not trying to do it like yes. the power loop style. So you're yeah! It was for, oh, yeah! That was awesome! Super smooth! Oh! Dude, that was, you're really looking good out there. This, this one sweeper turn, but this one- You just flew a long time without crashing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the you bar. You did a lot of laps. <laughs> Dude, that is the bar for, for doing a course like this where you, you can't just do what you feel like doing. You have to do what we told you to do. I'm very impressed, especially some of these turns I was seeing where I could see the profile of the drone. It was like a perfect coordinated turn. No washout, you had lots of grip in the air. That was, I just, that was it, looking great. It, so I have a lot of experience. Uh, if you guys have been watching the series for a while, I've raced cars, I've raced motorcycles, I've flown airplanes, I fly paramotors, like I fly everything, right? And I've done things that push me to another level every time. I'm always, I don't really, yeah. I've never really been a competitive person to race other people, but I like pushing myself. Me too. So like, 
this is definitely a push, especially because it's completely different than flying freestyle. Freestyle, I'd be out here and just kind of floaty. I love letting just like, get the hang time. This is like, okay, uh, and at one point I realized like I'm looking over here and I'm like, why is my head cocked left? I don't know. <laughs> it's a little intense, right? Yeah, you'll tough. end up like this or like this. <laughs> but all That's the things why you don't that stand. <laughs> all the things that you're learning today are gonna feed into those freestyle skills because Definitely. then when you have a freestyle line in mind, you're like, okay, I want to float over this and then power loop that, getting that. Being able to do that same thing consistently and having a little bit of forethought and, and sticking to a plan, it's gonna be so much easier because you're having to stick to this very difficult plan. Yeah, you'll have it's more command fun. over your drone. You know, we'll have new pilots come to our races and a lot of them can't even put in the lap in. They'll skip gates, so. I mean, I had to go back for a couple of gates, but I got them all. It definitely is a different experience. I'm glad that I got this chance and thank you for helping me. <laughs> Mako, thank you for coming out and giving him some lessons. Thanks uh, for having it. me. Anytime. Yeah, it was super fun. It was really impressive seeing you go through the through the course and you know being able to show everything from like a conservative line to an aggressive line. Hell, even just watching anyone fly at that high up tilt always impresses me because I like just chilling out at you know 20, 30 degrees. So you ripping at 50 is pretty awesome. It's a whole different game. I mean, you tilt that thing up, even just the takeoff, it's just like <laughs> I'm looking at the sky. Yeah. <laughs> this has been a really fun series. So link in the description to the full playlist so you can watch Eric's full journey. And guys, every Monday you can check us out right here on the Rotor Riot channel. I don't think they're gonna be able to get rid of me at this point because I love <laughs> all the adventures, all the crazy stuff. Make sure you hit the notification bell when you click subscribe and check out our channel, Aviator yeah, Paramotor. Yeah, if you can't get enough of Eric, he's got a whole <laughs> channel where he's flying paramotors, airplanes, fly all the things. Every course. Friday, every Friday, new channel, new updates, new videos, and guys, this has been fun. Let's uh, let's go break some more drones. We'll yeah, see you guys next time. See you. Bye.